Another concept that we saw was the scene, half of istiqbal, how you just add the scene to the half of mudari'a and, and um, it, it gives you the, the, the um, tense of the future, meaning it's telling you that this action will take place in the future. So we have two examples. One is in Surah Al-Kaf, verse number 83, right? Allah says, وَيَسْأَلُونَكَ عَن ذِي الْقَرْنَيْنِ And they, will, they ask you about ذِي الْقَرْنَيْنِ قُلْ Say to them, سَأَتْلُوا عَلَيْكُمْ مِنْهُ ذِكْرًا Here comes the scene. سَأَتْلُوا I will recite unto you. So تَلَا يَتْلُوا is the verb to recite. The scene is added. سَأَتْلُوا And it becomes I will recite. سَأَتْلُوا عَلَيْكُمْ مِنْهُ ذِكْرًا I will recite unto you. Um, something from his story, something about his story. Okay. Um, the other example is in Surah Al-Baqarah, verse number fifty-eight. So this is the end of a verse. So there's a longer verse, and this towards the end of the verse it says, "Wasanazidu al-muhsinin, wasanazidu al-muhsinin," and "nazid" is "zada yazidu," which means to increase in something. To increase, "zada yazidu," "sa nazidu." We will increase. Sanazid, we will increase. Al Muhsinin, those who do uh, good deeds, meaning we'll increase them in their reward. Okay? So, those are some examples. Hopefully, that helped you, inshallah.